Are you ready to get the skinny on how to use chat GPT in your business? You guys are going to find so many ways to utilize this for so many different things. This is a really great AI tool. It's been around for a little while, so maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you've seen some people using it. I want to kind of do just a quick comparison of the two main platforms that are being utilized right now. And then I'm going to show you which one I personally prefer and why I do. Now, I'm going to just preface this and say I am by no means an expert when it comes to this, okay? Um, I'm fairly newer to using it. However, I will tell you that I'm using it almost, I don't know, maybe 80% of the time when it comes to my business right now, okay? And I may not use it for everything, but sometimes it just gets me inspired. Sometimes it helps me to maybe put words together a little bit better than what I've been able to come up with in my head. If you're out there and you're like, oh, I never sound creative or I can never really find exactly how to say this. So it comes out, it doesn't sound salesy or maybe you want it to sound salesy, but you don't really know how to do that without being in your face, right? This is going to help you. Now, I will also say that you can utilize this in your business, in your everyday life, if you work, if you go to school like me, right? All these different ways, you're going to find that there's a use for this no matter the situation. So being able to really get a good handle on this is going to help you out a lot. All right, so the two platforms that are available that are being used are ChatGPT, and you just go to chatgpt.com. You will, on the very first time, you will initially sign in, and then once you sign in, you're gonna have it. Um, the thing that I do really appreciate when it comes to ChatGPT is, and, and the other platform, Bard, that I'm gonna show you in just a moment, it saves all of these conversations, okay? So you can go back, you can kind of see maybe what what the story was, what you were working towards, what you ended up going with, maybe how you got there, what the end result was, you know, all those things, right? It's, it's really interesting. So for example, let's just get bare bones. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start a new chat, okay? We're gonna start a new chat and you can see it says, you know, can you help me make up a story? Can you create a business strategy? Um, explain superconductors, help me pick a gift for my dad, right? All these different things. So chat GPT is really kind of a, it's like a, a, a point that you can kind of bounce off of, right? So it's a spring point. So the way that my friend Texas introduced this to me was to talk to it or ask it, like you're asking like, let's pretend you have a personal assistant. Let's pretend for a hot minute that we are bougie and we have a personal assistant and we're like, hey, I'm gonna need you to come up with a really Christmas themed Facebook post about the wax that we have called Forever Flannel. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. That's that's gonna be our idea. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT or my personal assistant in ChatGPT, um, can you, well, I guess I could say that, a Facebook post about Cincy. and make it Christmas themed. Here we go. Now, I want you to note a couple little things here first and foremost. So I told it that I wanted a Facebook post, right? So by doing that, it automatically puts in some emojis, which I personally appreciate and like, right? It really looks like a Facebook post that way. So what did it give us? It gave us embracing the cozy Christmas vibes with Scentsy's forever flannel. There's something magical about the warm and inviting scent that fills the air, making our home feel like a winter wonderland. As I said by the twig, okay, you can see. All right, it adds in some hashtags there. So let's say, maybe that's a little too long. For me, for a Facebook post, it's almost like a little bit too long. So can you make it shorter? 
shorter. Excellent. I love it. Okay. Um, can you make it funny? I don't know about you guys, but I like a little sarcasm or a little pun thrown in there. Um, I'm bringing the holiday hilarity. <laughs> this scent is so festive. Even my Christmas tree is jealous. I love that. Embracing the cozy chaos with notes of winter air and mahogany. Who needs mistletoe when your home smells this good? Share your funny holiday scent stories. Okay, so scented laughs. All this. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, so let's say, um, can you add more hashtags? Here we go. Can you uh, write it from the first person point of view? Okay, so it's more me. I'm embracing the chaos. Who needs this mistletoe when my home smells as good? Okay, so there we go. So that would probably be something that I would use Here's the other thing, ChatGPT and Bard, both alike, they're going to learn what you're doing, right? So they're going to learn from what you're asking it to do. They're going to learn a little bit, right? It's AI, okay? So it's it's learning as it goes. So when you get to the point to where whatever it is, you've gotten to the point where you're like, oh, that's it. You hit the nail on the head. Um, I will go ahead and I will give it some feedback, right? Because I want it to learn me. I want it to understand that that's what I wanted. Um, it really narrowed down what I was asking. I mean, it doesn't have to be impressive feedback. Come on, it's ChatGPT. Okay, so, all right, so let's say I wanted to use this exactly as is. I didn't wanna add anything in. I can just hit this little clipboard here. It is now officially copied to my clipboard. I could then just go right on into Facebook and hit right click paste boom add my picture done okay how easy was that again i'm going to tell you that using this is going to help you feel more creative it's going to get you into the mode it's almost like taking a creative writing class right because okay i'm in i'm in school so i i, I really look to see i mean learning is different for everybody right but it really will help to kind of drive your thinking towards what you're looking for, right? You really are getting specific here, right? Like, remember how I asked, I wanted it to make it more funny. Um, I wanted it to become the first person point of view, right? So all of those things made it just, I was narrowing, 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 narrowing until I got what I wanted. Okay, so um that's why i think it's really great and you can see that you can come over here you can go back to other um other chats that you've done what i've started doing is i like to try and create a new chat for each new subject so like this i'm sticking with a facebook post so when i go back with a facebook post and i want to ask for a new facebook post again i'm going to use the same chat gpt i'm not going to go up here to new chat and create a new one right because i'm going to stay in line with the facebook post it just for me organizes things a little bit easier okay um one of the drawbacks to chat gpt is it doesn't the information that it's pulling from is not necessarily current. Um, I want to say that the way that the platform is built, and don't quote me on this, you could Google it, you could chat GPT it, honestly. Um, but I want to say that the information that was put into chat GPT, um, it was current as of like 2021 or something like that, right? So it kind of, maybe it's a little bit outdated. So if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more relevant more very current newsworthy things like that uh, a newer product all of those kinds of things right you may not actually get all the information that you're looking for so that's one drawback um another one like i said with a little bit of outdated information but if you're really using this mainly for your business you're not really going to run into too many problems here um you can like i said use this for facebook posts for instagram for newsletters whatever it is that you're really looking for emails that you want to send out that you just want to get more creative with right all different kinds of things now this is chat gpt i'm going to flip on over to bard so 
Bard, B-A-R-D, so it's just Bard.com. Um, when I pull this up, I was able to log in the very first time with my Google account, okay? And you can, you can log in using Google on ChatGPT as well. Bard is actually a product of Google. Now, it works in the same way as ChatGPT, okay? Again, I can ask it to create a prompt for me. So we're gonna do a new chat and let's do, or a new Bard, um, we're gonna do, um, can you write an Instagram caption for um, this picture? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to upload image. Um, I do this a lot uh, when I'm on my phone and when I'm on my MacBook. I just kind of click and drag over uh, when I'm in there. So it might, I think it's going to pull up from my actual library of my pictures, but that's okay. I'm just going to find a picture um, because I want you guys to really see what that does when you're doing that. Um, Come on, little guy. Just give me my little picture. I just want my picture. That's all I want. Okay, it's thinking. It's thinking. Um, this is one of the features that I really, has really kind of pulled me in, per se, um, when it comes to using Bard versus using ChatGPT. All right, so I'm just pulling up this sense of the season over here. Okay, submit. All right, so there's my sense. Can you write an Instagram caption for this picture? All right, so you can see that it's sitting there. It's thinking. Okay, here are a few Instagram captions for the picture you sent of the Scentsy Wax Melts. Notice, first things first. It looked at the picture. It recognized the picture that it was Scentsy. I love that. I love that. I didn't have to tell it. I, it already knew from the picture, okay? Um, it gave me holiday scents that will fill your home with cheer. Which Scentsy bar will you melt first? Okay, so, okay. A lot of great ideas here. Melting my stress away with these Scentsy bars. What's your favorite Scentsy scent, right? Those are great Instagram posts, right? Okay. Um, I also like that it gives me some additional tips. Again, you'll see the difference here versus chat GPT. It's giving me, me more writing prompts. I appreciate that. Thank you, Bard. Okay, um, ask a question to encourage engagement, right? That's our CTA, our call to action. Include relevant hashtags. Okay, excellent, right? Okay, so um, can you give me hashtags for this picture and post? It's going to give us some here. There's some general hashtags. I like that. Okay. And then again, it's going to give me tips. Okay. Hashtags related to the time of year. So it's, again, it's trying to help me to learn better how to write better. Okay. I really feel that this is a learning platform. I'm not going to lie. Okay. I love how it does that. Um, I hope this helps you choose the perfect hashtag. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Um, so there's just like a review. It took me there. Um, let's say, um, uh, here's the other thing. Can you show me a video of how to change Sensi Wax? Are you ready? Remember, Bard is owned by Google. What else does Google own? Google owns YouTube. They own YouTube. All right, so we get some really great video options here. This is fantastic. Look, it gives me the videos right here, front and center. I can go ahead, I can watch that video. Maybe I want to know about it, right? Um, so if I want to, oh, okay, got it, got it. Um, so that's really great. Let's go over here to chat GPT. Let's say, can you show me a video of how to change Sensi Wax? Let's see what chat GPT gives me. 
I'm sorry, but I can't provide videos or visual content. However, I can guide you through the process of changing Scentsy Wax with written instructions. I'm not gonna lie. This is the number one reason why I prefer Bard over ChatGPT. Call me a Google girl, I don't care. But in my world, I revolve around Google. Okay, okay. Um, can you, I wanna show you another example here, right? We, should, we asked for videos, we were able to get videos. Let's ask another thing. Remember, this is Google. I have a Gmail account. Um, can you show me recent emails asking about Sensi? It's going through my emails, through my Google Workspace. Sensi Club. Oh, I need to update. Oh, that's right expired. I have to update that. Okay. So this is what it's doing. It's actually going through and it's actually reading my emails and it's kind of going through trying to sort out the emails for that particular question. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Um, can you show me my, any, oh, any, Google Docs I have about joining Sensi. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it does have it does it does have the ability to search, but I can search through there. All right, so there's that. All right, I, I thought that it did, but maybe I've, I've looked at it a different way. Um, it was really nice to be able to do that. I will say that I have done that before where I've just gone through because I cannot remember exactly what is in my Google Drive. I have a lot of things saved in my Google Drive, in Google Docs, etc. So when I'm looking for things like that, that's kind of where I'm turning. So as you see, this is a really great way to be able to get the juices flowing when you're trying to find something to post, okay? Um, you can modify the response again. You can tell it why. It was easy to understand. It was correct. I'll submit those. That's fine. Um, you can also just copy this It'll automatically, you can see down here, it says copy to clipboard. So the same thing as the other, right? I can share and export. I can export all of this to a document, so a Google document. Um, I can actually put it up in an email. So maybe it was something that I was asking questions. And maybe it's like some, some type of a, what I was asking was something I found that could be really helpful to my team members when they're trying to do certain things, right? I could go ahead and create a draft in my Gmail of exactly what I've asked so they can get all of the information that I've I've found through this barred chat, okay? It really, really allows me to do a lot of things. Um, let's go ahead, let me show you another example here. So um, can you look online to find uh, more images? of changing Sensi Wax. Fantastic. All right, so it gave me Sensi's official website. I love that it did that first and foremost. Other online resources, so I can go to YouTube, I can go to Pinterest. While searching, pay close attention, look for images alongside videos, okay. Excellent, excellent. So it does kind of go into the internet, pull some some particular examples up for you. Um, and again, I just find that that's more helpful. It's just a lot more helpful to me than ChatGPT. <laughs> um, it also will work across different um, devices. So you can actually have it connect to 
your different extensions. So you can see, go from tabs in one conversation. Um, so I have everything linked, right? So I've got my Google Workspace. Um, oh, that's how I did it. I did at, at Drive. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Search. There we go. Google Docs for changing yeah. Sensi Wax. So by doing that, by actually adding it, right? So adding it. Um, I don't know why I'm not doing it. Because it should be doing that. So I'm not sure why. I prob I'm probably just doing it incorrectly. Um, can you show me? Um, let's see if it pulls this up here. We're doing a little bit of experimenting. Okay. All right. So it doesn't, it's not, it's not pulling it up at the moment, but that's okay. I wanted to try it. All right. There's different extensions. Again, you can link all of that. Um, I find it just really helpful. I also have everything in my Google connected right here and there. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Like I said, with Google, everything is just kind of all in one spot, all in one place. And I really like that and appreciate it. Um, I really just have found it helpful. Um, so you can see, again, it will keep recent chats. You can go through, you can look those up, you can go back to them, it saves them for you. So it's really very helpful. The one thing that I have found when it comes to these things are utilizing the power of the AI is fantastic, right? Specifically, if you're trying to get content out. Let me show you one more example of a really quick and easy way of how to utilize this, right? So let's go to new chat. Um, and let's say um, you want to post in your VIP group. Um, can you give me the top two reasons to join Sensi? Maybe I want to do a post about the opportunity in my VIP group or um, on my business page or wherever. It's going to give me, you're going to see, it's going to give me a nice long detail here. So that's, you know, that's pretty good, right? It's some um, pretty important points. Um, can you make it uh, more personable? So it just gives me a little bit of a different outlook on the actual verbiage, right? So we want to be able to, um, we want to be able to kind of just detail it down, drill down into what we're looking for, right? So again, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to be able to do these things, this is going to help you so much. I don't, however, want you guys to solely rely on it because, again, we want to be authentic when we're talking to specifically our customers, but also with our team members as well, right? We really just want to be authentic. Um, so you can include more of those details as you start to play around with whether you decide to choose ChatGPT or BARD. You know, go back and look at both of them and see which one really you end up liking more. For me, you guys, I think, know what my preference is and why, but that's mine. Um, but as you start to get more comfortable with it, get to asking more questions, really utilizing it to its full potential, you're really going to see that it can do a whole heck of a lot. But like I said, don't lose the authenticity. Don't become 100% reliant on it because what's going to happen is you're going to lose that authentic voice that you have and the relationship that you've built with your customers, okay? So again, 
I'm going to recommend that you use this as more of a starter or if you're looking to just schedule content so you can have it out there and you're in a rush, you don't have a lot of time, um, you could go on there. What are the top five reasons to buy Sensi? It's going to line them up for you. One, two, three, four, five. You could easily make that into a carousel on Instagram. You can make it into a reel. You can do all kinds of things. Um, there are just so many endless possibilities that you can be asking these AI tools to be able to help you in your business. So if you find yourself in that situation, if you find yourself kind of searching for what to say, wanting to give it more of a different voice, looking for descriptive verbiage, something that's going to stand out, this is going to help you so incredibly much. Now, if you guys are using ChatGPT or Bard in your business or just your life, I want to know how are you guys using it? What are the pros and cons or what have you found that has really helped you the most when using these tools? So I'd love to know that. So feel free to drop that in the comments. And as always, you will see me again next week for another training video. All right. I love you all. Peace, love, happiness. Have a great rest of your week.